Hello, welcome to an Entity Framework Code First video about adding a table and a foreign key. The following are the scope for this video. First, adding a new table to an existing database using Entity Framework Code First approach. Then, we'll be using string as a table ID. Lastly, adding foreign key to an existing table. If you want to follow along, you can use the GitHub repository that I will add in the description below. Hi, my name is Eugene, and my mission is to spread lifelong learning. I've been into programming for more than 10 years, but now more than ever, there are more things to learn. Join me as we explore the world of programming. Right now, our focus is .NET technologies, but we are not limiting ourselves to that. There are plans to include other topics like React, React Native, and others. So please comment below for topics you would like to be included. In the previous video, we've created ourselves a solution. Inside the solution, there are two projects, the API and the data. Inside the data, there's an entity for customer. So for this video, we'll be adding a new class. We call it membership. After adding the class, we'll add some properties, prop string membership code. Then prop tab string title. Then another prop description. Next step, we'll be adding data annotation. First will be for the table. We'll want to customize the name. The membership. Then we just resolve the issue using statement. And then we'll add a column. To identify the correct column name so membership underscore code then the important part we have the type name if we don't include this the string length will be shorter than what we want next will be the title which should be required column and the type name bar chart then okay then we resolve another adding a new using statement then we copy this paste it there just remember to edit the length okay. because our membership code is not name ID so we need to add a new attribute which will be key to identify that this is a prim primary key and then another attribute to not auto generate the the id so because this is a string so we add database generated database generated option which will be none Let's now proceed to add the membership to the data context. So public DB set membership memberships get 
Okay. Let's now add the migration. So control tilde dot net ef migrations add add membership table then dash p persistence layer dash s api layer so this should run a build okay succeeded so now let's verify the migration added let's go here so team membership table was created so let's check the field length also membership underscore code parker 6 table description 10 and then 200 now we will run the database update control tilde again dot net ef database update dash p data dash s api then we will check our database okay done in sql management we hit new query then go to the database customer db and sp underscore help t underscore membership okay here we will see the table name is correct membership underscore code let six not nullable title also not nullable and length equals 10 description is 200 and nullable we also see that there is no identity which is the auto increment and then we can see that the primary key is the membership code now let's go to customer entity and then add the property string membership code then we'll point to the membership entity membership then membership and then we'll add tag this as a foreign key foreign key membership code and then we'll add annotation to the membership code uh, column membership underscore code save okay then we will add the migration control tilde dot net ef migration add add membership foreign key to customer dash p data dash S API Okay, we just watch out if there's any error Succeed it and then Done Okay, now we will validate the migration with this one and then so we can see that 
membership code with underscore was added to the table T customer which is wirecard 6 so now let's run database update dot net ef database update dash p data dash s api build start tab succeed okay done now back to the sql server management sp underscore help t customer five there should be a membership code parker six malleable true then there will be a foreign key reference the t membership membership code okay so to summarize to add a uh, primary key that is a string you can use this command you add the key and database generated equals to none to add foreign key to your table simply add the property like this membership code if you have a unique naming you add a column membership underscore code and then indicate the related table with the foreign key that's it for this video. Please hit the like button if you learned something new from this video. Consider subscribing to get the latest update and comment below for topics you would like to be discussed. Thank you and good day.